waiting on the plug because he is coming with that good guy. Tell me why I went to FedEx the other day. I was waiting to receive a package and I had missed, you know, my package. So when I went up there, there was two packages waiting for me. I was like, hold on. I just had one thing coming in. I didn't know I had two things coming in. They are new different style type wigs and I'm just going to be um, getting rid of the ones that I don't wear which are always in my closet. If you guys checked on my Instagram, I am selling them. I'm not going to be able to wear wigs for a few months anyway so I just had some new wigs come in so I'm ready when I come back. So I did decide to pick up some new wigs and new styles so I'm prepped and ready once I come back for my extrusion that I'm going through. But in today's little get ready with me, I'm just going to be finessing Delago's hair. D-O-L-A-G-O -L -L I hope that's how you say it because that's how I pronounce it. Delago, okay or Delego, I don't know, Fuego. This wig right here is Fuego because the color, it is something that, you know, I'm very excited for. It is something, you know, I wanted to, you know, keep from a hush and I'm not going to be, you know, posting pictures with it. Probably am if I look cute today. But I wanted to pull a look once, you know, I come back from my excursion and I just wanted to have, you know, a full fantasy look. But I'm tempted because it came in and I want to try it on and I want to finesse it on my head. Just see how I look with it. You guys probably already seen in the thumbnail, like, girl, nobody's fooling. Like, girl, it's just blue. Like, it's blue, but let's get into it. I'm gonna open the box. Shout out to Delago Hair for sending his wig. And I'm just gonna pop her open. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, let me move this other box because it's on my lap and it's acting like crack. Okay, so what you get in the box? Ooh, you get the wig. Um, and then you get a little stocking cap, which is typical for, you know, your exclusion on your wig journey. You need a wig cap to, you know, seal shit back, okay? But um, this time it came with a brown one like a brown one like wow and there's a new model on here like okay Kia it is a brown hair color it's not like the one that I have on my head because the one that I have on my head it is kind of lighter but it's always good to have a couple different colors just in case your friends need some wig caps because I always let my friends use my wig how girly as you already seen the color this is with the little fishnet on and oh my god oh my god oh my god it's a straight one and as you can see it's blue I am going to be pulling a lot she moves okay first impression Bye. It is a colored wig, so you guys have to expect, you know, some dye jobs. And this is a transparent lace. You guys see how it's like painted? You can see like the dye on the lace, only on the inside of the hair, like in here, not on this part, which is always good. But um, hopefully, it's not too much bleeding on the lace to where it shows on my skin around the hairline. My green wig did do that, so I hope that this is not the case with this one. That is typically how it is when you get, you know, a colored wig because they're literally coloring the whole unit for you. But so far, so good. Now, let's just pop her on my head. This is not a full lace, as y'all seen on the inside. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow, this color. First impression, I'm looking through the viewfinder and she's pretty and she's human hair. This is really, really cute. Now, I wish she could be a little bit tighter because um, I'm not going to be doing glue method on this wig today. I wish it did come with a strap like this inside the box, but luckily I have a couple already on me. I'm just gonna be sewing this to each side of the um, wig because I do not wanna glue this wig today. As you guys can see, I fucked up my eye in the last one. I'm going to stray away from the Gatsby spray for this video in particular because I kind of just want to see how it looks on my head. Since it doesn't have that, um, there is a lot of loose lace as you guys can see. I can't just cut this lace and then, you know, pop it on my head because quite frankly, there is a lot of lace. I think this is uh, actually a large cap because, let me show y'all. Like, I mean, it does go to my hairline, but my ear starts right here. And there's a lot of hair right there. So let me go sew that strap into the wig and then I'm gonna get into this part because there's literally no, ooh, shit. Flip forward, girl. See, and she's loosey-goosey. That's what I'm saying. It's a really, really big cap. Um, I typically get a small or medium. But as y'all see, this is like a free part. Now, um, it does have lace all the way from here, all the way around, so you got a lot of parting space. Let's see before I take it off my head and get off camera real quick. If I'm going to need to, yeah, I'm going to need to work in this part. So this is just like water and can too. And I'm just going to be spraying that all over top of the head. 
just so I can get it, you know, a little bit damp so I can part the hair right, if you guys know what I mean. Now, we are going to be hot combing this wig. I like the part to be as flat as possible just so I can get the, you know, full effect, especially with the colored wig because I want the line to show. I am going to be putting concealer just so I can, you know, finesse the part a little bit further. There's just a lot of baby hairs on this wig, which is not a problem, no problem, no problem. But um, it's just a lot, a lot. And with colored wigs, I typically don't like doing baby hairs because it already looks fake that you're wearing, you know, colored hair and um, the fact that you got all the baby hairs, and you know, slick, it's just like, damn, that's a lot going on. And I know, I know, I know, damping in the hair and then hot combing it is probably like the worst thing to do. But it's not like it's fully, fully wet. It's just like a little, little bit damp. Then the hot comb presses that heat into it and then you're going to have a really, really flat part. So um, this is a good part right now, but um, I'm trying to make her you know slip and slide. I did go over it with a blow dryer just so I can you know not have it as wet because I don't want to sizzle the hair off with this hot comb. Once I go in with a hot comb it is definitely going to show the part a little bit more because I'm laying the hair flat down and it you know opens the part. I'll be going in with concealer as well after I do this because um I do want the part to be a little bit more prominent and I do not want to pluck. Like I said in my other video please be safe when using this because you can literally burn your head off if you know what I'm saying. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be brushing through. When your hair gets stuck into the hot comb, it could be very tragic because the longer it's on that hair, it could literally sizzle off the hair. I need to let go of my little mirror so I can, you know, finesse it. So what I'm going to be doing is... But I'm honestly excited about this hair because it's giving me very much Coraline vibes if you guys don't know the movie Coraline. Okay, so I'm done with the part. As you guys can see, I stopped doing it. I am going to be applying some concealer to the part. Now, I'm going to do it on the inside. Please do not put fucking concealer on the outskirts of your wig because... <laughs> It just kind of is noticeable if you guys don't know how to do it right. You might have to put concealer with this if you want to, you know, just put that line right there. But girl, look what the concealer can do with the part. As you guys can see, I didn't put concealer on the back side, but I did on the front. Now my finger is underneath the part, but watch when I move it away. Boom. Look at that. Matches your skin tone perfectly. So just use any concealer that's your color and then just bring it all the way to the back. Now I just want to show you guys the difference. It looks like a scalp and then right there, the very, very back as you can see. And you guys can see where the concealer starts. With the concealer, now I did part this wig kind of, you know, funky and junky because when I put the concealer, you can see how I actually parted it. It looks phenomenal. It looks like my skin and now it's time to cut the lace. But before I do that, I'm going to slick this hair with some coconut cream just to, you know, flatten it and make sure everything is stuck together because I hate flyaways. If you guys know me, y'all know I hate flyaways, so I'm just going to... So I'm just going to get a little bit on the back of my nail and then I'm just going to rub it in on my hand just so we can apply that to the hair. And this is going to make sure you don't have flyaways throughout the day. Now all I honestly do is just cut through the middle right there and then on the ear flaps make sure not to cut the hair and then another one on this side. I was trying to cut the whole thing is just like no me gusta no ma'am but this I have just like a piece right here a piece right there and a piece right there now how I'm gonna be cutting it is I'm not gonna be cutting it in a straight line like that you know I'm just going to be going in and going like this like you know like my wrist is broken doing this with your lace helps so much it basically makes the lace look a little bit more undetectable because it's not like a straight line and you guys can see the demarcation of it Basically, cutting like that is the best way to go and I do leave lace on there I do not you know cut the lace fully all the way to the hairline because I do need some glue room if I ever want to you know give this wig away or if I want to sell it there has to be a little bit of lace on there so with lace and this is without lace now I did not use Godspeed this time like I said so um this is just with the adjustable strap obviously she can still get pulled off but um the adjustable strap really does help pull it back without no problem without it you know flipping back it's soggy like this now I am going to be tucking the hair back just so I can keep it tight because that is how I finesse my hair when I don't want to glue it officially officially and not do baby hairs either I just tuck the hair behind my ear and make sure I have an adjustable strap so it is tight up here because this is the main part that needs to be tight girl so I booked my plane ticket today and it was $1,100 like what the fuck why are plane tickets so expensive and I'm flying with Canadian Airlines I don't know if that has to do with something but I don't know I was really pressed when I had seen that price I was like fucking $1,000 for a fucking plane ticket y'all better give me TV Wi-Fi and all that included girl but 
this side is completely cut off now my forehead looks big don't worry I'm gonna you know pull that bitch down <laughs> look like a mob wife real quick but um yeah don't worry about if your part looks super far back because just pull that bitch up pull it up and don't worry about it now that the lace is all cut I'm gonna show you guys how I you know finesse it when I just don't want to do baby hairs as you guys can see I didn't glue it I didn't do the baby hair finesse trick I do it honestly just has a strap that I attach to it but as you guys can see it is loose right here so all you have to do is just tuck that part behind your ear now if you have black hair you can get away with it if you have blonde hair you can't really get away with this and then I just pull it all to the front and this mainly works whenever you have a middle part because when you do have a middle part you're not really gonna be flipping your hair like you know like this you know all the time so you're not really gonna see this little black part now if you guys want to cover the lace like I said pull that bitch back and then pull the hair back down so basically just tuck the lace part behind your ear and then you'll be good to go let me show you on this side see how like there's that much lace I didn't want to cut all that I did not because you never know what you're gonna do with your wig so just tuck it in the back trick the trade and wow there we go there we go now I do want to say thank you to Dolego Hair um, obviously for sending this wig because this is going to be in my archive with my other colored wigs like the green one and the pink one so color units are honestly sickening now this is about a 26 inch because on me it goes to you know right here as you guys can see and then obviously a 30 inch and a 28 would go to my Budokrat. There's definitely true to the picture that is on their website. It does look like the color, if not better. Now this did come straight out the box. As you guys seen, I just pulled that bitch out and then I just parted her and finessed the part. To me, that is honestly always good when you are ordering wigs. If it is a good wig that you can just pop on and go, like a shake and go, if you know what I mean. Now I don't know how this hair is going to act up when I wash it and, you know, curl it and all that stuff. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned on my Instagram, Snapchat. And they're honestly affordable on their website if you guys look through it. Now a lot of you guys do tell me that like the wigs that I do review aren't affordable. You guys definitely have to think about it especially if you're getting a colored wig or a custom colored wig which I typically do review on my channel. They are going to run a little bit more than just a basic black wig. You guys just got to be mindful, be gracious and be cute when you guys are purchasing. But the wig that I have on my head right now for everything that I do have on my head is only $338, I believe. I don't know if that goes for with shipping as well, but that is honestly not bad if you guys think about it because it is a colored wig, which you guys can just order a 613 unit and then dip dye it. But if you guys don't want to, but if you guys are, but if you guys are a beginner and you guys don't want to do all that work and you guys don't know how to dye hair or don't trust yourself, it is definitely a go because like they do it all for you. And it comes with pre-pluck and they do have a fake scalp option but definitely click that option if you guys are beginner because that's going to give you guys the illusion of a fake scalp and it's just going to make your wig process so much more easier but i'm just finishing my makeup now because i'm in a total rush i don't know why every time i decide to film i have other things to do like the days that i film so i'm like fuck and the sad part is is that i forgot my lash glue like I don't know where it is. I didn't forget it. I just lost it, to be honest. And I don't know where my lash glue is, so that kind of sucks. I'm gonna have to use some mascara today. <laughs> my eyes are super weird without eyeliner or lashes, so um, I am quite sorry that you guys are seeing, you know, the gag today. And now it's time for my quick little beauty marks. Now, I do have a beauty mark on my nose and under my lip. I do apply a fake one right here, just to give me like that look, if you guys know what I mean. So, I'm just gonna do this very tediously. Boom. And then one more. And then that makes your skin look so much more real because when I just have nothing on, it's just like a blank canvas with some eyes on. I'm like, girl, add some texture, add some little details to your skin because not every skin is just flat and perfect and contoured like to the gods. So I just add a little bit of beauty marks. I just use the Maybelline Lash Sensation. Um, it is an old trusty that I go to. It doesn't, you know, smear. It does not smudge. And it gets all my eyelashes. But like I said, I'm genuinely sad that like I don't have lashes today or lash glue today because I have lashes but no lash glue oh my god can we talk about how excited I am to be releasing the stuff that I am you know prepping for you guys like I'm honestly head over heels hype for you guys to see what I have in the works for you guys like y'all ain't ready and I know it's gonna be a little bit before you guys do see what I'm talking about but trust me patience is a virtue and it ain't gonna hurt you so 
stay tuned just stay updated with me on my social media because my other social medias definitely do keep you guys incited on what's going on especially my finsta if you guys follow my finsta i haven't accepted a lot of you guys but i accept some of you guys and i definitely don't want to give away details before anything you know comes out but just saddle up it's gonna be really really crazy really really cute and I hope you guys like it enjoy the you know experience with me but um, I am honestly hyped I'm currently waiting on my plug don't judge me I put fucking mascara on my eyebrows don't judge but I am waiting on the plug because he is coming with that good guy and I am going to be filming a video once he does arrive with my you know package <laughs> so you guys are gonna be seeing me with this blue hair once again but I think I'm pretty much done with my makeup I just need to pop on my lip so my makeup's completely finished now I'm so sad I don't have lashes. I took off the foundation on my lips because it was looking kind of crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little get ready with me. It honestly is a finished get ready with me because I was honestly just finishing up my makeup and then doing my hair. Make sure to click the links in my bio if you guys want to follow me on social media as well as if you guys do want to shop on Dougalow's hair. I don't know how to say the name still. So if you guys do want to pick up this flawless unit that I have on my head, just click the links down below. I will have a direct link as well as a site to their website so you guys can skim around and shop. And if you guys are feeling this little blueberry fantasy, comment down below some blue emojis just show some love you know just let me know if it looks cute and if it doesn't i need to boot it okay today's post notification shout out goes to tyler wild shout out to you now you only have one picture on your instagram you need to post more because you're cute girl like what the fuck is see we need to see more of you so shout out to you thank you so much for supporting me and following me on my journey it truly does mean a lot and i love you guys so much for that and uh tyler i love you girly if you guys do want to post a notification shout out make sure you guys just comment on this video and add your instagram to the end of it so i can share you guys and you guys have to be following me on my instagram as well because it is post notification shout out i'm gonna be sharing your instagram you guys have to support the instagram you guys know what i mean so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you have a great rest of your day or night wherever you guys are i love you guys with all my heart peace love and dildo see you in the next one and my next one bitch see you in the playlist video <laughs>